Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 88 of chapter 6 of Halliday and Resnick Fundamentals of Physics. In the figure, block 1 of mass M1 equals 2 kilograms and block 2 of mass M2 equals 1 kilogram are connected by a string of negligible mass. Block 2 here is pushed by a force of magnitude 20 newtons and angle theta equals 35 degrees. The coefficient of kinetic friction between each block and the horizontal, the horizontal surface is 0 0.20. What is the tension in the string? Okay, let's start by drawing the forces acting on the blocks. So let's draw the forces in red. Here in block one, we'll have, of course, the weight and the reaction of the surface, the normal force. And also the traction, the tension in the cord between both masses. In block 2, we have also the weight of block 2, the reaction of the surface, the tension in the cord, and also the force pushing the block. In both blocks, we have also the friction force. So here, friction force in block 1. And here, friction force in block 2. That's all the forces. So let's copy this here and copy this. Okay. And let's write M1 here. And M1 multiplied by G, the weight, the tension force, the normal in block 1, and also the friction force, the connect friction in block 1. And here we have the weight in block 2, the normal force, the reaction force of the surface, the force F that pushes the block. I won't draw the, the angle, we know the angle. The tension and the friction force acting on block 2. This friction will be different. You will see. Okay, so let's write the equations for, the, for both blocks. Start from block 2. So Let's put two and let's start sum the forces in the y direction. The sum of the forces in the y direction must be zero. We won't have any movement in the y direction. So the sum of the force will be zero. And sorry about that. And we we'll have N2, the normal force of the surface is positive minus M2 multiplied by the gravitational acceleration minus F, the projection of F with sine of theta. So sine of theta. We want to project the force in the vertical direction. Therefore, we can write that the normal force equals m2 g plus f sine of theta. And the friction force will be the normal multiply the friction coefficient. So 
and bk multiplied by this term here Okay, so now we have the friction force acting on the block 2 here, M2. Now let's sum the force in the x direction. So, sum of force in the x direction. In this case, we are looking at block 2. The sum of force acting on block 2 must be equal the mass of block 2 multiplied by acceleration of block 2 but both blocks will be will be accelerating with the the, the same amount so uh, the acceleration will be the same for both blocks so I, I won't use any index to identify the block on A okay so we'll have F project in the x direction so multiplied by cosine of theta minus the tension force minus the friction force so let's copy it here and this is the for this force is this equal m2 multiplied by the acceleration. Therefore, we will have an equation with two unknowns, t and the acceleration, the tension and the acceleration. When we write the equations for block 1, we will have two equations for two unknowns, and the problem will be solved. So let's rewrite this equation uh, in order to, 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 to the equation looks um, a, little, a little better, maybe. So we will have the tension plus M2. M2 equals 1 kilogram. So I will write only a I'm putting the the numbers now this equals F 20 Newtons multiplied by cosine of 35 degrees minus the friction coefficient 0 0.2 multiplied by m2 1 uh, let's this way 1 multiplied by g 9.81 plus 20 multiplied by sine of 35 degrees okay therefore we'll have t plus a equals let's calculate this so 20 multiplied by cosine of 35 degrees minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 9.81 plus 20 multiplied by sine of 35 degrees and this equals 12.13 this is our first equation now let, let's write the equations for block 1. So, that's block 1. Here we have, we will start out sum the forces in the y direction, and this must be 0. Here we have simply two forces, the normal force and the weight of block 1, and both both force must be equal in order to cancel each other so we have the normal force equals m1 multiplied by g 
now sum we sum the, the force in the x direction and this sum must be equals m1 multiplied by the acceleration and we will have let's look at the the force here we have the tension minus the friction force so we have tension minus the friction force that is the friction force will be friction force force acting on block one will be the friction coefficient multiplied by the normal force m1 multiplied by g this is the the friction force we we'll put here so we'll have the sum of the force must be equal m1 multiplied by the acceleration so we'll have t minus m1 is 2 kilograms so 2 multiplied by acceleration equals 0 0.2 the uh, friction coefficient multiplied by the mass 2 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 Therefore, we'll have, using our calculator, here, 0.2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 9.81, 3.924. And I, here we have our second equation. What we want to know is the tension so we will multiply the first equation by 2 and sum with the second equation this will, uh, the acceleration will be cancelled and we will have the tension so doing this we will have 3 multiplied by tension equals 2 multiplied by 12.13 plus 3.924 and the tension let's write it here the tension will be uh, 2 multiplied by 12 here yeah, we can take it from here okay and divide by 3 9.4 9.4 newtons this is the tension in the card that's it this is the solution of this problem here so the problem is solved mm -hmm.